The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. Touchdown, Dolphins. Jalen Waddle, 35 yards. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Now here's Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. <laughs> Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. Dancing to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. He'll live to fight another down, right? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Forced out to his left. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up. But what's going to be the final play of this first quarter? These two teams all tied after one. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really looked clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. On second down and four, Tua. That's caught Waddle on the left side. Tua to his Alabama teammate Waddle. First down, Miami. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On first and ten, it's Lindsey. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Throwing on second and eight, Tua. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. Gets around him. And he'll take this into the end zone for the Dolphins touchdown. Miles Gaskin, 35 yards. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Now Brian Flores is going to lead the offense out there to go for two. They're going to 
keep it on the ground. And he will bowl his way in there for the two points. Nothing fancy there on that two-point try. Give it to the big boy and let him go to work. That almost felt like Sandlot football that we used to play, didn't it? Biggest guy on your team who can carry the ball, hand it to him and let him rumble. Nobody picked me on the Sandlot football <laughs> team. You were quarterback, and I know better. I was the water boy. <laughs> And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to... And it looked like he got the feet down, did he? Yes, it's a catch. What a play that turns out to be. 36 yards. Mahomes now on first down. Out to his left. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs are a two-point conversion away from tying this thing up. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. Mahomes will throw for it. Eluding the pressure right. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. If they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Terrific running there to start the drive as that's going to go for 15 and a quick first down as well. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. Two and now on first down. they will get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 36 yards on the play. What a luxury to have a tight end that can run a post route like that. It's a luxury for the offense. It's an extreme luxury for the quarterback. Always has a great outlet and usually able to come up with a nice play down the middle of the field. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Second down and goal. Tua firing quickly here, and that's complete. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. They'll run here on third and goal. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Miles Gaskin as the first half is winding down. And the Dolphins will extend their lead here just before halftime. They're going to try and run. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line successful attempt at the two-point conversion. There's a triple option play. 
and they chose option one, handing it to the fullback, and that's not normal. And sometimes you just miss your read key, right? Yeah, I think so, and sometimes they actually call that, thinking that maybe everyone will bypass the fullback going out to the, the tailback or the quarterback, but in this case, they overwhelmed him and stopped him. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they'll take over with just 16 ticks remaining before intermission. Mahomes now on first down. Steps away to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Here's second and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And they're going deep for Hill. Got a man, it's caught inside the ten. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Well, if the plan is to come in here and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, it certainly does not hurt if you hit them with a big shot along the way, too. That's got to give them some confidence. And the other thing right now, it quiets this crowd, at least for the time being. Yeah, that is what is called the intended consequence of their actions. And he will get into the end zone. So a perfect finish to the half. They get the touchdown on the final play and two more for good measure. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. Here's Tungabailoa on first and 10. That's to Waddle on the quick slant. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. This is Gaskin on the carry. 78 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Another run with Gaskin. He'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Worth noting, you know, that visiting sideline is getting the worst to the sun right now. It can definitely play a factor, especially because the other sideline is in full shade. Now they'll throw with Tungabailoa to a hit, and the ball is out. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. The 40, 20. And he has brought this one back. A fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. 
so many times tight games decided by one big play. And a lot of times, of course, it's the offense here. It's the defense coming up huge. And you know head coaches walk around locker rooms, walk around bench areas saying, guys, somebody make a play. It's a cliche, but it applies here. And this is no good. It's a missed extra point. Boy, in a tight game, how important might that turn out to be here as the second half rolls along? And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. So they hit the ball before it went 10 yards. I know that's tough, but you got to stay disciplined. It is difficult because you're so eager to go get the football. It's that type of a play, but you're exactly right. Have to have the discipline to let it go 10 first. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. He'll dump this one off to Lindsey. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. Worth noting, you know, that visiting sideline is getting the worst of the sun right now. It can definitely play a factor, especially because the other sideline is in full shade. Play action, now it's Tua. Well, that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. To throw once more on second and ten. Tua. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Gesicki. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A good pick up there. 26 yards. Carter with it. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Dolphins have tied it. Now they can take the lead with the extra point. Now Brian Flores going to lead the offense out there to go for two. They'll try and run it here. And he will bowl his way in there for the two points. Could have been up one with a point after, but they go for two. And it worked. It almost seems like they're trying to set an identity, doesn't it? We're going to be one of those teams that every time we get a chance to put extra points on the board, we will. Because really, it's minimal in difference, right? Whether you have one or two, the field goal can still get you. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And they'll be backed up a bit to start as he's out of bounds at the 16. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, it's caught inside the 25. And like it. all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 84 yards. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. They'll try and throw for it. Being chased out left. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Igbenogany elects not to return, and the football will come out to the 25-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the table and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Two are going to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Fuller. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Check. 
Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. And able to find Gesicki as tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Two and a throw again. He's got Fuller. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. A give running right, Lindsey. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 42. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. This is intercepted. Picked off by Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs will take over here just shy of the 30. Boy, Brandon, that's what I'd call an ill-advised pass right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. From the 39, Tua. A little check down to Lindsey. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Touchdown! Philip Lindsey. Take the lead with the extra point. So now a big play here as the Dolphins will go for the two. They'll try and run it in. And he will get into the end zone. So they knew what they were doing all along, right? Now the lead two here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Buying time to his left. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Call that a very strong gain of 24. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. 
Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Mahomes will throw. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. That means there's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now Mahomes got to have this one, escaping the pressure right. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line. Now, another timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he will reach the eight yard line before going out. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. They'll run with Edwards Alaire. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. Here's Mahomes sliding out of the pocket toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, that clock had run awfully low. Now, obviously, no hesitation. Bring out the field goal unit, try to win it. And no one happier about that clock stopping than the field goal unit. Now, they can take their time, get set, and try and execute what they need for the game-winning field goal. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. And the Dolphins are going to recover. thought we might have a good close game and we did really came down to that final onside kick they recovered it but they would have had to return it they were unable to do that and that wrote an ending that is frustrating isn't it to execute an onside kick and get the ball yet there's no payoff for them right now they're probably in their locker room trying to comfort themselves with the clock just ran out on us we were right there